Sometimes, though, the danger isn't obvious, but our brain knows better, and it will try to send us messages. Whether we choose to listen to it or not is another matter. Let me give you an example. When I was younger, in my 20s, I would sometimes be wild, out of control, outrageous. I didn't know when to stop myself. When alcohol was involved, then I'd like to drink or two now and then. I would be a party animal. Listen to my brain? Ha! In that state, I didn't even know I had one. And I'm sure that people who saw me at the time probably felt the same way. At times, and I'm not proud of this, I would drink until I blacked out. Not passed out. I would still be going, still be partying away, but I would say and do things for which I would have no recollection the next day. More times than not, I'd have said or done something incredibly stupid. I almost always ended up being sick to my stomach, and the next morning I would wake up with the shakes and a chill. I would always be apologetic to my friends, and they, being so wonderful, would always forgive and forget. And then I'd go out and do the very same thing the very next weekend. Talk about living and not learning. Until one night, it was the summer of 87, I had just graduated from journalism school and was about to start a job at a small newspaper up in Wakefield. My friends and I were partying at a ball bar in Hull on the Promenade du Portage. Um, that, that bar strip no longer exists. I was up to my usual form, drinking and partying hard. I think I might have had a drinking problem. At the very least, I was trying my best to have them. But on this night, something interesting happened. As I was lifting my glass to my lips, I heard a voice inside my head say, If you have one more drink, you'll regret it. I'd heard that voice before. But being the fool that I was, I almost always ignored it. Not this night. And that was the interesting part. As I held onto that glass of beer, it dawned on me that that was the voice that I usually heard the last thing before I blacked out. Coincidence? I think not. Go home, the voice added. Now on this particular night, I had gone out with a group of friends and one of them was a designated driver. And this friend was on the dance floor as this little voice danced inside my head. At this hour of the evening, he was my only ride home. The buses had long stopped running, and I didn't have enough money on me to take a cab to where I lived. Surely I could wait for my friend to come home, or come back to the table, and I would see if he wanted to leave. Go home. Now! The boy searched. Something was telling me that my immediate departure was urgent. 
oh yeah, it was my brain. The signals that I was receiving at that moment were as strong as those that my brain would have given me had I touched a hot burner and then drawn my hand away. I got up, I left the bar, and went home. I walked home. Home, at the time, was in the baseline Maribel area, <laughs> some 10 kilometers away from Hull. Walking home from Hull took me more than two and a half hours. By the time I got home, the sun was up. But by the time I reached the door, I had sobered up considerably. Had I stuck around, with my friends and waited to get a ride home, I probably would have arrived an hour and a half earlier. But what I realized that night was that I would have also been tempted to continue partying and to continue drinking. And I would have regretted it. As it turned out, I didn't black out, didn't do or say anything stupid. My friends wondered why I left without saying goodbye, but they had figured that I had met someone in love with her. <laughs> From that time forward, I've always stopped to listen to that voice in my head, being at partying, eating, or, yes, even speaking. I don't always listen to that one, but at least I stop and listen to hear what it has to say. I outgrew my party animal phase a long time ago. Don't get me wrong, I still like to have fun and party. I'm just not much of an animal when I party anymore. I've learned a valuable lesson in listening to that voice that says when to say when. So use your head. Listen to it. After all, it has all the brains.